I am drunk. <laughs> I really am. Um, but I feel like I'm operating at about an eighth grade level, and that seems like enough to really articulate exactly what I think of you. I feel, and I would like to point out that I'm using I statements here, I feel like you are kind of a dick. And I'm starting to think, hey, maybe my standards are really low, but when I ask you to meet me here, I didn't think I would have to convince you I was worthy of the time. But perhaps I should have seen this coming, considering you showed little to no interest in my existence since, I don't know, for always? Oh, I'm sorry, did you want to say something? <laughs> well, you can't, can you? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I mean, I'm really sorry. It's just I thought this part would be easier. The one where we pretend away the dust, it's just the first time seeing you clothed again. I didn't expect it to be so jarring. See, I thought you would come off like dead skin, numb as Novocaine, not this unruly exorcism, and I know this desperate plea doesn't look good on me. And in the harsh light of hangover, I will regret every word, but God damn it, can you not be exactly who you are all the time? Can you pretend for a moment that I am more than a dirty magazine or a terrible idea? Or perhaps we can will ourselves to unsleep together, to break the backs of all of your bedroom's clocks. I think I heard that's possible. It's like tattoo removal, I guess, or a backwards back baptism, maybe. Don't laugh. I don't think this is funny. Thematically perfect, but not funny. See, this was a long time coming. Nine shelves of us crashing in unison, but I thought you would stay for the aftermath, the dustpan, so no. You don't get to look at me with those eyes that confess everything is so slightly wrong when I am trying to spin the room back to normal. Do you know how impossible you seem right now? How deliberately cruel you are being? I am not an accident. I am ten months of perfectly executed planning that you can't even look at. And I know what you are scared of, that I'm about to say I love you, and I am, but not in the way you are so desperately afraid of, not in that European city kind of way, no, I love you like I would love you, which is to say, I don't always want to waterboard you, but sometimes I do, and sometimes I just want you to be there when it's easier to drink away, and that is why I asked you here. Not to gnaw at any limb you would offer, but to drink away your skin. To send the dirtiest parts of us down a whiskey river to love you back into nothing. And you know what? I really thought you were going to show. But I guess I should have seen this coming. So, if you could just call me back. See, I'll be here. Drinking in your...